All right, here I am with the Autumn Art Bento Box 2018. Let's dig in. So as always, we have the menu card. We have some tissue paper. I always try and do fun stuff. I'm really loving these gold stars because then you can use it in your work as well. A little pack of art supplies. Some Blick Matte Acrylic Paint. There's various colors that come in the boxes. I got yellow light. Love the matte paint, especially with other paints that aren't matte. Um, they just have a nice mix to them when you mix them with other paints. So a lot of fun if you've not tried the Blick Matte Paint. We also, of course, have paper pack, an ephemera pack with some little Halloween, October themed little cuts, paper cuts in there, um, and some other ephemera. And then the dessert for this month is this Art Rules, how to break, how to break the Art Rules card. So everybody got a different one. And I'm going to do my little video on my Art Rule. And I think it might be fun. So it's almost like even though you have this video, everybody will have kind of a how-to within their box. And I have using specific constraints. So it is taking an object, and I think almost everybody has done kind of a blind drawing before, but there's this is a little twist on a blind drawing, and we're gonna be feeling it with one hand and drawing it with the other hand, which is something I have never done before. So you have a tactile exploration and a actual physical drawing. So at the same time, that's gonna be really interesting. Um, it says here, some art teachers say, don't draw what you know, draw what you see. But how can we separate those functions? This drawing translate a tactical sensation into a visual representation. So very cool. And then there is um, some more information about what's on the front here. So this piece, and it's a surrealist automatic drawing. So very cool. We are gonna give this a try. Let's unwrap and see what is in here. And I have a Faber Castell Pit Pastel yellow and this big fat cobalt turquoise. So I'm gonna use both of these. These all came in the kit. And then I'm also going to get a paintbrush because I'm going to get this paint into the action. And I'm going to pick one more color because I like all the variations of color. So I'm just going to pick kind of a random colored pencil here. And I have a blue card dash, so we're going to use that as well. So I have some two blues and two yellows apparently, which is totally fine. And what am I going to draw? I'm going to draw this De La Rowney ink. So I'm gonna go ahead and feel it as I draw it and not look at my paper as I do it. And I'm gonna start with, let's start with this big fat one. Let's move our menu out of the way. And let's see how this goes. So my goal here is to not look at my paper and to just kind of go along and feel this. I'm gonna start at the top and work my way around. So. I'm actually going to close my eyes. I know you can't see that, but I'm going to just to kind of really get into the tactile sensation of this. I'm going to start by putting my pen down. So I'm watching where I'm putting my pen down, but now I'm closing my eyes. I'm going around. Oh, it's rough right here. So I'll make a little rough around in, out. This is a really interesting process. Down around, up, kind of back in, another rough part, in, and up. Oh, interesting. So I'm going to do it again, put this away, and I'm going to do it in this blue. So again, I'm going to start, I'm going to put my pencil down to start. I'm looking at that, and I'm going to go around. rough back in round down oh 
All right. Now I'm gonna kind of switch it up and I'm gonna turn my paper upside down and do one more. Again, putting my pen down. Oh, that was a very sharp tip. I'm going around. Rough in, out, down, across, up, in. Oh, my paper's moving. I don't feel it moving. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, and I went off the paper. So this is really interesting. And now I'm gonna use my paint. Done with this. And you can do this a whole bunch of times. I really love how many different times this artist did it. Claude Heath and got just so many. It makes a really interesting textural piece. I'm gonna use some paint and I'm gonna go kind of around my drawings here. I love using paint to kind of outline things and especially this abstract kind of automatic drawing, blind drawing and tactical. That was really interesting. I'm definitely gonna try that again. It got you a whole different sensation to completely close your eyes and feel and draw. So moving the paint all the way around my object here. And really just kind of filling in some of the white space around really makes the focal point my automatic drawing. It kind of adds to the abstraction of it. I always think it's fun when you get um, the boxes and I try and do it authentically just like what I send you. So my box is random, the colors are random. So you never know what you're gonna get. And I, I kinda like the challenge that it gives you too to make something with the colors you have because they may not be colors you traditionally are drawn to. But I'm really liking this kind of blue and yellow. So seeing how I can finish this off. So you can try my little card here and you can see kind of step through what I did um, and I would love to see what cards you guys get and if you end up doing the challenge that is in your box what that kind of brings to life for you. I think I'm going to color in this in between where they're touching too with a pastel from my box because I almost got a pastel that matches that same paint And there we go. Love this auto box, lots of fun. I can't wait to see what kind of art rules challenge everybody gets and what you make with it. I hope you enjoy the autumn art bento box and I will see you back here for the December box, the last one of 2018. There's still some left if you have not grabbed that one yet. They're great gifts. Um, we're gonna have some fun, uh, spoiler alert, I'm gonna put some um, really cool products in there. One of which being a whole little box set of Conti crayons because since I'm going to Paris and I thought it might be cool to use these in Paris and try them out and then put them in the winter box. So spoiler alert, if you haven't grabbed that yet, definitely do it. There'll be a bunch of other stuff in there as well. And check out my YouTube for all the videos um, and at Draw Riot or at Art Bento Box. Either one you can find me and until next time, see you later. Bye!